Good afternoon. My name's Tom with Home and RV. I'll be doing a walk around your uh, brand new Wildwood Heritage Glen. And we'll start here on the outside. On the uh, passenger side, you'll see that you have exterior speakers to your uh, radio inside. Uh, these speakers are water resistant, not waterproof. Do not spray directly into them when you are uh, cleaning the unit. They will take rainwater and uh, you washing off the unit. Also located out here is access to your onboard antenna as well as uh, 110 uh, receptacle so you could plug a TV in out here and enjoy the ball game out here. You also have an exhaust for your uh, furnace. It's a good idea to uh, get a screen for that exhaust. That keeps mud daubers and little varmints out and keep you from having a repair bill on your heating unit. Your storage area all the way through and you'll see your hitch work is here as well. You do have a battery disconnect located there and a light switch there. So we come on around. You have your front storage with its spare tire and your battery. You want to check that uh, battery, uh, make sure the cells are uh, uh, water staying over the cells. I check it every three to four months uh, to make sure you keep it in good shape. Once uh, you get to your campsite, you want to get it off of your uh, tow vehicle. You're going to push the button to extend or retract your unit. You'll extend it to get it off the fifth wheel and then pull your truck out from under it. That way you'll be able to level it up with the landing gears and then uh, stabilize it with the stabilizers in the rear, which we'll show you in a little bit. Located here are both your LP tanks. Your LP tanks are both full and they're both on right now. This is pointing to this tank, which uh, lets you know that that is the tank you're drawing from first and the tank's on. When this tank runs dry, that flag will turn red. Then you'll come out here and switch it over. We have gas in this tank, so it's gonna show that it's green as well. But then you'll take the tank that just run out of LP and get it filled, and that way you won't run out of uh, gas. You want to uh, camp with just one on at a time, and that way you'll be sure you have a backup. We come on around to the other side of your storage. Here's your service panel. You have a hookup for satellite, one for cable, and then uh, you have a winterization switch here. And uh, when you want to winterize, you're going to flip that switch up. You're going to put this tube in your uh, antifreeze bottle and turn the pump on and it's going to suck the uh, antifreeze right into your system. Below that's an outdoor shower. There's a coil-up hose inside and uh, it'll quick connect here and then uh, you'll be able to have hot and cold water out here. City fill, fill, when you're at a full hookup and you have city water, you're going to hook up your hose to this port and it's a good idea to uh, have a pressure regulator at the source that's uh, 55 pounds and keep you from blowing lines inside since they all are PEX or plastic. You have a uh, fresh tank fill so if you're at a, a site that does not have city water you can fill your tank here and uh, we have some water in that tank so we can uh, demonstrate uh, some of the things inside for you. There's your black tank is a black tank flush. Once you've dumped your black tank, and those dumps are located right here, the black valve is the black pull, and then you have two grays. So once you've dumped your black tank, and it shows that there's something still in the tank, it means there's something caught on the sensors. You want to uh, hook a hose up to this flush, make sure the black uh, valve is open. Make sure you're in a dump by hooking the hose to your bayonet connection. And then 
you can turn the hose on and it will flush out your tank. Once it's flushed out and cleaned out, you can close that and then you can also dump your grays to basically wash out your hose. Up here is your on-demand water heater and uh, what you'll do is you just go inside, push a button uh, to uh, set the uh, heat, the temperature the way you want it. You want to make sure there's water in the tank. Uh, so actually, it's tankless. You make sure there's water in the lines by pulling the blow-up valve a little bit so that you can make sure there is water in the lines. Then, you uh, run the hot water first. Do not add cold water to it right away. It will not work properly. You just want to run the hot water till it gets hot and then add the cold to it to take it down to the temperature you need to use it. Behind that is your 50 amp service. All this cable is yours. And uh, there's a 50 to 30 amp adapter back here uh, that we're plugged into. So uh, if you are only plugged into 30 amps and you don't have a 50 amp site, you can only run one AC at a time. If you're plugged into 50 amps, you can run two ACs. Uh, just uh, make sure that you do not run two on 30 amps. So your stabilizers are back here and to extend those you simply push the button and then retract, bring it back up. Those are stabilizers only, they're not jacks. Do not try to jack the unit up with them. You will uh, bend something, the jacks or the frame. So just snug them down to the ground and uh, that's uh, all you need to do. We have your awning out. Your awning is a uh, maintenance issue. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you do not leave it out in stormy weather. Do not leave it out uh, in, uh, uh, when it's raining. Uh, it will not take either of those. Uh, if the wind catches it, it will blow it right up over the roof. These arms are not strong enough to hold it down and you cannot uh, tie it down as you, we used to do with the older ones. So just bring it in when you're uh, not around the unit, bring it in at night and uh, bring it in uh, when it's stormy. Your roof, you want to, has a, it's a solid membrane, front to back, side to side. Everything that comes up through the roof has Dicor sealing around it. Dicor is a brand name. They make a lot of things for campers. They make this sealant that's non-silicone. Do not use any silicone on that roof. It will eat through the membrane. It tends to void your warranty. So you want to go up there at least a couple times a year, what we call begin and end of season, and check those Dicor seals. Make sure that uh, they are either not cracking or separating from the roof. If they are, it's a possible leak point. So just uh, make sure you wipe that area off. Put Dicor right over top of the old. Do not take the old up. It may cause more problems than you want. And uh, that way uh, you will seal that impurity or imper imperfect roof and uh, keep you from having a leak. Now we're gonna go inside and basically do the same thing. As we come in up to your right, you're gonna find your panel in here that uh, will tell you everything you wanna know about your unit. Fresh tank is two thirds full. We put some water in there to, to work with. Your battery is completely charged, but we're plugged into shore power, so it's automatically charging. And uh, we, uh, it'll automatically charge when you're plugged into your tow vehicle. Your black tank is empty, and your gray tanks are both empty as well. Come down here to your water pump. We have that on, so the light's on, uh, so we can demonstrate uh, your water usage. And then your water heater is on, which is uh, your on-demand heater. And uh, you, know, you have tank heaters in the event that you're camping uh, in colder weather that you need to keep those tanks uh, heated and uh, fluids 
and won't freeze. You have your lights here and your awning extends or retracts here. Your slide outs do the same thing here and here. So we come on up to your uh, thermostat. This one is running the rear air right now and this one is off because we're only plugged into 30 amps. So in order to set the temperature, you simply run it down to where you want it and leave the fan on auto and uh, automatic. And then you can scroll through this to turn your heat on. There it's on heat and you'll run the temperature up so the furnace will uh, come on. Or one more time, we'll turn it off. So we've turned the back one off. We're going to turn the front one on and we're going to lower that temperature and get the fan to cool and auto. Run the temperature down and it will kick on here in a minute. While we're doing that, you do have a light switch here that turns the fan light on and off as well as the fan and then down here is your uh, water heater you simply touch it you can run the temperature up to where you want it and then you're going to turn the uh, valve on to either the sink or the uh, vanity in the uh, in the toilet and that will uh, bring hot water to those areas Again, make sure you run the hot water first make, and let it get hot. Then you add the cold to it. If you don't do that, then uh, the hot and the cold are gonna mix and never heat up. A nice bedroom, has its light switch here, switches over the bed, and the slide out for the bed is here, just inside the door. You can hear the ACs on in here. You have a nice walk-in closet with the uh, washer dryer hookup already. Nice shelves. Make sure these doors are latched before you head out. That way you'll keep them from sliding back and forth. You come on around back down to the cabin before we do that we'll go to the bathroom the bathroom has a foot pedal the foot pedal fills the bowl when you fill the bowl uh, to where you want to use it after use you'll push the pedal all the way down that will flush the toilet this is also where you want to put your black tank chemicals with black tank chemicals you can use uh, pods you can use liquid whatever you feel comfortable with you want to put those in before you start camping and before you use the unit then after you've dumped uh, you also want to make sure that these tanks fill to at least two-thirds full before you dump that way you'll have enough water to uh, carry off the solids and the paper You have a nice shower with three doors that are latched here. Uh, if you want to latch it to the other side, you also have a latch there. Make sure they're latched before you uh, head out. Nice sink, GFI, light switch, and your maxi air fan that opens and closes with the touch of a button. Now we'll go down to the cabin. Your keys are here and you'll, uh, you'll find them on your uh, sink off and on. Below that is your breaker panel. Your breakers are all marked, they're 110 breakers and then past the converter are your uh, 12 volt uh, fuses. And so this is where you'll come if you if something's not working properly, 
either a breaker is tripped or half tripped just like it is at home or one of the fuses are blown. You also have a maxi air uh, button here to raise and lower your fantastic fan over here. Cooktop, you have a sparker to light off each unit, each burner. When you turn the valves, if they're on a blue light, you turn it to light, they'll turn to red, so you know gas is coming out. You want to make sure they're all blue if you're not using the unit. Let's travel with the glass top down. And above that you have a fan and light for your cooktop and then a nice microwave big pantry. And next to that, you'll find your side-by-side -side refrigerator. And then... I have your... Uh, have it on hot. The water heater just... Turned on and and it is hot. Got a nice couch that makes out into a bed by simply picking up the bottom cushion and pulling it out and uh, bringing it back down to uh, complete the bed. Nice recliners and dinette. Your uh, dinette has its uh, four chairs. It'll be strapped in uh, when you receive it, uh, and that's the way it should travel. Beside that, you have your electric fireplace. It will put out uh, heat and uh, allow you to heat the cabin on those uh, frosty mornings that you really don't need the furnace. Above that, your entertainment center with a nice uh, Samsung. Uh, TV and, and your Furon uh, soundbar. That pretty well takes care of uh, your walkthrough. Uh, if you uh, have any questions once you uh, have viewed this on YouTube, don't hesitate to call uh, either myself or any one of the guys that uh, are here that does walkthroughs will be able to answer your questions. We thank you for buying your unit from Holman and uh, it's going to be fun to camp in this thing.